Proponents are calling it the frankenfish, a genetic, genetically modified Atlantic salmon that grows twice as fast as the wild version. Scientists working for the US agency responsible for approving it for human consumption say it is safe to eat. But consumer and food safety groups aren't convinced. North America correspondent Craig McMurtry reports. The genetically modified Atlantic salmon grows twice as fast. These fish look like unmodified Atlantic salmon. Uh, people who see them think they're very attractive fish. We happen to think they're lovely fish. Uh, but we've done a lot of work with these fish over the years. The modified salmon has a growth hormone borrowed from the Chinook salmon and DNA from the eel-like ocean pout. The Massachusetts company that created it plans to produce eggs in Canada and farm the fish in Panama for U.S. consumption. U.S. Food and Drug Administration scientists have given it their qualified approval. Aqua Advantage salmon is Atlantic salmon, and food from Aqua Advantage salmon is as safe as food from other Atlantic salmon. But American consumer food and animal safety groups were lining up today to oppose it at a public hearing in Washington, D.C. Science cannot prove that this new gene-spliced salmon is completely safe for human consumption over the long term. We need more rigorous studies using better experimental design, more sophisticated or sensitive methodology. Aquabani engaged in extensive culling of deformed, diseased, and di dying fish before any of the data in the application were collected. 78% of adults surveyed oppose GE salmon's approval. That's across every demographic. It's a high-stakes decision for federal regulators, not only because it would be the first genetically modified animal approved for human consumption, but also because of what it means for other biotech industry plans, for modified trout, pigs and cows resistant to mad cow disease. Many other products from animal biotechnology have and will benefit consumers. Many of these products are in development and will undergo the same rigorous science-based review by the FDA. Opponents of the fast-growing fish worry that it'll escape and threaten already endangered wild salmon. Despite the intense debate, there's a growing belief that federal regulators will approve it, though it's far from clear if the FDA will also demand special labelling. This salmon must be labelled. The FDA found significant differences between GE and non-GE salmon in vitamin B6 and the hormone IGF-1. This demonstrates a material difference. And U.S. critics say a lack of labelling is a concern for all consumers, not just Americans. Craig McMurtry, Lateline.